welcome to King Williams Everything. Today we're going to take a look at RBN on the Tinkerboard, Asus Tinkerboard. So, if we go to RBN.com, we can download it. And if you're wondering what RBN is, it's just another distribution. It's basically uh, Ubuntu uh, with, uh, I think it's XFCE, something like that, interface. So it's kind of a lightweight. And if you look at their website, it says lightweight Debian, Jesse, or Ubuntu, Xenile, Xenile based Linux distribution. Be part of our vibrant community. So very basic. You can kind of see um, they're kind of showing a little prettier interface here. But that's basically where you get it from. Go to download. And let's see. Go to Mr. Tinkerboard. And that's where it is. It's about 500, 600 meg. So you can see there's two versions, uh, legacy and the mainline. We're going to use the mainline one. Uh, you can see multimedia and desktop usage scenarios and server and light desktop usage scenarios. That's what we picked. We want the newer one. So anyway, now let's go and take a look at it. I've already installed it. Um, if you want to know how to uh, put it onto a SD card, I can show you that. But I've already done it. So let's go take a look at it. So this is RBN Universal Operating System. As you can see, it's kind of sparse uh, compared to the Tinker OS. This is basically Ubuntu with the, let's see what the interface was, XFCE. So it's kind of um, uh, basic and kind of see the, uh, uh, turns into a blank window when you move it around, nothing fancy. But looks like most of the good things are there. Let's see, you got support, donate, config. This takes you into like a DOS config. So if you want to configure your time zones, those kind of things, uh, we can do that. There's your home folder, system, trash, and application. So pretty, pretty basic. So search for settings. You can see that uh, pretty much everything you want to configure is right in here. Uh, accessories, you get some screenshots, some basic things like that. Uh, nothing fancy. Graphics, Mirage, Internet, Chrome, Chromium, a web browser, uh, multimedia, you got your, your uh, media player, Office, LibreOffice, so that's good. So you kind of get a newer version of that. So that's basically your productivity stuff. And let's see what else we got here. System. Uh, like task manager, just uh, some basic stuff. So nothing fancy in here. Uh, but, you know, if you're just looking for a basic in installation that doesn't take a huge amount of space, this works really well. Um, the one thing, if you want to do add software, and this is where I was kind of disappointed, um, under settings, their package manager is called Software Boutique. Makes it sound fancy. But the one thing I did notice with Software Boutique uh, you know, it gives you some, let's just pick internet. They give you some, some of the basic uh, applications you can install. Unfortunately, from what I can see, there's no search. If anybody knows if there's a search, let me know. So I can't find it. But, um, you know, probably most of the things you need are in here, so that's kind of cool. Um, but like I said, uh, I don't see a search. But you can still do command line, you can do apt get, um, that kind of thing. You can probably put the synaptic package manage on here, make it a little little easier for searches and stuff like that. I think they probably did, did this just to make it simple. But seems like it works fairly well. Um, I mean, is it better than the TinkerOS? Not really. But, you know, everybody's different. Probably, uh, I'm going to guess uh, they don't have all the optimizations for the graphic processor and stuff like that on this, but. You know, I think for what it is, it's okay. It seems like it performs fairly well. I haven't really used this that much. I mean, I kind of like more graphic-y uh, kind of things. But it does seem like it functions okay. Mirage, uh, terminal emulator, there's your 
terminal yeah until you install all your apps on here I guess it's really not um, that interesting uh, the one thing I'll show you is config this takes you come into that uh, DOS looking window to do some configuration instead of going through the menus you can do it all in one spot um, so see there's configuration general settings networking Armbian uh, third-party software install so if you want to install some software third-party applications installer diagnostic monitor let's go back software I think that's where I just did Armbian uh, system so you can set your time zone you want to turn on SSH or reconfigure SSH see we had a little delay there I opened this up already and it took a while uh, great board firmware I'm not sure what that would do desktop disable desktop RDP you turn on RDP uh, we have kind of the basic stuff uh, networking Armbian. I guess mostly switch nightly builds most people aren't going to be fiddling around with this very much. And here you can kind of install some more. Make a VPN server, that kind of thing. Or Samba. Just makes it a little easier, I guess, to install. And let's go on the internets. And that looks like it works fine. Let's do the YouTubes. Looks like that functions fairly well. Let's pick up Mr. Video. Let's see something that won't get us in trouble. Hmm. So that seems like it's working fairly well. Looks like it plays okay. That's good. Look at them go. But anyway, just kind of a brief uh, look see at this guy. Um, probably not going to use it. Thought it'd be interesting to take a look and see what it had to offer, but uh, not a whole lot. I mean, it's okay for what it is. Uh, stick with uh, Tinker OS if you want, but if you're field daring, use. RBN for the Tinker OS.